Have you ever wanted to study technology and sustainability while immersed in a historical European city? Stay tuned to hear all about Honors Germany Innovation in Engineering program on a special edition of the Honor Roll podcast, coming up next. <music> Hey, Honors Bulls, we are back with another bonus episode of the Honor Roll podcast. Today we are talking with Honors student Omar Boutayeb about his time in Germany. Honors students get the unique opportunity to explore the intersectionality of engineering, sustainability, and society. Hands-on courses allow students to engage with industry professionals and cutting-edge research. The program is based out of Osnabrück University of Applied Sciences in northern Germany, where the students stay for six weeks. The trip also features planned excursions to Berlin, Bonn, Duisburg, Wolfsburg, and the North Sea. Would you like to introduce yourself, Omar? Hi, I'm Omar. I'm a third-year computer engineering student and an honor student. So could you start off by just giving us an overview of what the trip is like? I think it's one of the longer honors trips offered during the summer. For six weeks, it's a mix of study, workshops, excursions, and then full-on weekend trips. So we'd study during the week or have workshops with industry professionals. And then on a Friday, after finishing classes, we'd pack our bags to go travel for the weekend. I think during the entire six weeks, we only had one free weekend where there was nothing planned. So we didn't really have the time to get bored. What did your classes look like during the week? In general, the classes were just lectures. We'd have a guest lecturer from either the Hochschule, which is the name of the university, it just means University of Applied Sciences, or they'd invite a guest from outside. They'd lecture for one, two, sometimes three hours. It was bearable, I promise. And then we'd have some interactive sessions. We'd either be taking notes or interacting, playing a game. And then we'd have workshops. We had a full week of workshopping. You either went for design thinking, which is what I did. So for a week, we thought of a problem and came up with a concrete solution. For us, it was uh, a concrete solution to clean up plastic residue in water, in bodies of water. Or you went and handled heavy machinery with injection molding. Cool. I think it's really awesome that you guys kind of got to choose your own projects like outside of your class and then you got to do that abroad. Um, so what made you choose going on this trip? So I've been looking for a good study abroad trip for a while. And at the beginning, I wasn't even looking at the honors ones because I'm in engineering. And it's very difficult to find one that really sticks to the theme of engineering. And I was speaking to my advisor, Dr. Al. He just left. I'm incredibly sad. but And he brought it up. And it turns out that it was exactly what I needed. Great. So can you tell us a little bit more about what you most enjoyed about the trip? It might seem cliche, but it's the friends we made along the way. It wasn't just USF honors students. We also had some students from UF and we've met so many people out there. I remember one day, three of us were sat watching a football game in a random sports bar in the middle of the city. And we met one of our now best friends from Osnabrück, Patrick. Patrick, if you hear this, we love you. We miss you. And genuinely, I think this, the biggest, best part of this trip is the human element, meeting people, creating connections, discovering another culture and its people. You uh, mentioned like discovering the culture and the people. Could you um, just talk a bit more of like what it was like to be in Germany in general and what the culture was like there? So I expected more shock, just constant what, but that didn't really happen. It was smaller things that surprised us just to give you an idea in germany they stare they will stare into your soul and not see an issue with it it's perfectly normal the first day we arrived we landed in frankfurt the airport took a train got there we also kind of missed our train exit i can tell you all about that it took us an hour and a half to get back but that's another story the entire time people were looking at us and making eye contact. And for Americans, that is so strange, but lovely, just just lovely, just wonderful. What would you say to students that are looking to apply? What would you say kind of to encourage them? First, do it, do it, and you will not regret it. This trip barely felt like studying. 
it was genuinely one of the best experiences of my life. You will learn so, so much and not feel like it was studying at all. You have two assignments, one very, very, very large study journal. Work on it every day. Don't do what I did. And then you'll just be graded on an incredibly fun workshop. Do it. You won't regret it. And do you have any tips for like how to get involved slash prepare for the trip as well? So there's not much you can do to prepare for the trip apart from learning a little bit of German or as much German as you can. In Germany, you'll have a class called Survival German. You'll learn whatever you need to survive. It's very fun, but the more you learn before, the better. And obviously, get your paperwork in order. If you need a visa, do that. Don't just show up at the airport. They won't let you in. And then can you tell us about like a favorite memory that you had on the trip? First day in Germany, we land in Frankfurt at the airport. We take a train. It should be a direct train from Frankfurt to Osnabrück, the city where we stayed. I fall asleep in the train and my very dear friends that I love very much wake me up as we arrive at the station. So not a minute before. So we have the time to get our bags and stuff. So they wake me up, I get my bags, and I'm at the door as it opens. I don't get down because I hear, Omar, what? We lost Zach. So I don't get off because we lost Zach. And we find him as the doors close. And the train's already gone for another 45 minutes to a city in the north called Bremen. And once we get to Bremen, we have to take another train back down to Osnabrück where our tutor, Haran, finally gets us an hour and a half after he started waiting for us at the station. And I think that's one of my fondest memories. We've joked about it the entirety of the trip. Every time we had a new lecture, they would say, so I heard a couple of y'all went on an excursion to Bremen. And yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I think getting lost is like the best part of study abroad trips. It's like when you actually bond with like the people around you. Um, I, I got I got left behind at like in a random Italian city when I studied abroad and the same thing happened. You know, I bonded with, you know, the other students on my trip as well. The problem is that's not the only time we got lost. It was the <laughs> only fun time when and we then, were in when we were in Berlin. One of our professors told us to go explore and be back at a precise time. And, you know, Germans are very punctual, except their trains. Their trains will always be late. We got very lost and he got very, very, very angry. <laughs> Lastly, Omar, I just wanted to ask how you feel that the study abroad program kind of helps your understanding of engineering, how you hope to bring what you learned over in Germany, over here. What's incredible about this trip is that it was all about engineering, sure, but it was really multidisciplinary. We went to a steel foundry. We went and discovered new energy sources, parks. We went and did so Oh, so many different things. And I think that that kind of program is the best type of program to make polyvalent engineers, engineers that can tackle anything that comes their way, especially for the future. Yeah, I agree. I think those like interdisciplinary experiences don't just make a well-rounded person, but they make the trip beneficial for everyone who goes. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. That is all the time we have. If you are interested in trips like the Germany Innovation and Engineering Program, check the Honors website for more information and how you can apply. That will do it for this week's episode. The Honorable Podcast is recorded in the Judy Genschaft Honors College at the University of South Florida Tampa campus. Production assistance is provided by Honors student Sandra Napolitano. Thank you all so much for listening. Please do not forget to rate and review our podcast. We appreciate your feedback. We'll be back next week with more Honors stories. Stay tuned for more episodes where we talk all about honors study abroad. Until, Until next time, go Bulls!